What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, sorry about that. I've been away for roughly about five days. Um, uh, I think it was Wednesday right up till Saturday. Um, my son is in the Cub Scouts, and they were running this, uh, they do this every year, the Pinewood Derby car race. And basically what it is is you just make your own, you know, take a block of wood and design your own car uh, out of pine wood and uh, and you race them uh this is the first year my wife and i decided to get in on this so it was uh, really cool um to be honest with you i didn't win any of my races i think there's like four races you can win but mine really wasn't for race it was more for show and you'll see what i mean in a minute but we had a good time with it um and so basically I was basically doing these cars and then these guys, uh, my family came up with their ideas to do their own cars after that. But as far as shaping them out and everything else. But um, anyway, we had a good time on it. There's the cars right here. And you can see where I've, mine is uh, on the topic of NASA. And some of you guys will go, Chris, I thought you hated NASA. No, I don't hate NASA. I like everything NASA stands for. I like the idea of space exploration. I love new discoveries, so on and so on. What I don't like and my biggest pet peeve about NASA is that they're withholding the information from the people. That's it. Um, uh, my son's is right here, the Star Wars Legos. My youngest daughter's was right here. My wife's, she won a couple races, lost a couple. I said, well, if you were, if you would have overinflated them wheels, you would have won every race. Oop. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's a different topic in itself. Um, but that's BS to me, and that's a whole different topic. Anyway, so I decided to go on the NASA theme, like I said. And what I did was here is I got, I nerded it out a little bit. Um, where I actually put headlights and a red strobe light on it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and then, as you can see right here, it was pretty bright, and I got a bunch of oohs and ahs when I set mine up. Um, so it was more for fun and just to kind of push the envelope. I mean, I had people telling me, uh, you know, I've been racing for years, and I've never seen anybody do that. And that's why when I decided to enter, I was like, well, I already got a good idea for my car. <laughs> I already knew what I was going to do before I even did it. So uh, I had a really good time with that. And so, uh, you know, I apologize for not getting back to everybody right away. But, um, okay, uh, again, going back to NASA, um, I'm going to go back to a Spirit Rover uh, picture. I believe it was Sol 71. And, again, it's the information to take out of these pictures that once they take some of this info and then they, they canvas, I'm going to use the word canvas or blanket, call it what you will, um, uh, here's the picture right here, and again, Sol 71, and it says Pan Cam Dust Devil. I'm not sure where I'm seeing the Dust Devil here. I don't see it. All I see is a bunch of what looks like a possible mountain in the background and a bunch of crap. Um, I'm not seeing anything else, but what's crazy about this, now before I even go to the Photoshop, I want to show you something. Again, well, let me do that again because this doesn't get any bigger, but I can bring it up here a little bit. Um, when I look at this picture, I mean, just take a look around. You can see shapes. I can see shapes in this, in this, from here, this spot here on the edge, down here to the front of the picture, to the bottom of the picture here, um, it's a basic canvas. And what I mean by canvas is they're throwing a canvas over the actual anomaly sitting here in this picture. If you look carefully, you can see something right here. You go, well, that's just part of the ground. Well, it appears to be because it appears to be in a 2D uh, as opposed to a 3D and really good clean picture. Uh, there's something sitting right here. There's another shape. And people go, well, it's just, you know, different colors of the ground. Okay, I'll let you guys make your own decisions um, on this picture. I'm going to show you what I come up with, and you guys give me your take. Um, okay, so let's jump right into it. I don't want to make it super long. I made a couple long ones last time, and I don't want to really make them super long this time. Uh, again, I'll let you guys uh, tell me what you think. First thing I did on this picture, you guys can do this too, just to see if there's anything in there. And what I mean, well, I'm going to show you right now. And it's going to look kind of just, just go hit your equalize just real quick. Now you go, well, what's that going to show me? Well, if you look here, it looks like 3D, I mean, a 2D kind of flat ground thing going on. And maybe an edge or maybe a ripple in the ground here and there. Nothing of any importance, right? Okay. Let me just zoom in here just a hair bit. Okay. Well, let me just back out just a hair. Okay. So now when we do this, suddenly you go, wait a minute, what is this hiding right here? Suddenly it looks like there's some height to some of these items. How is that possible? See how, like you can see now, and this, this piece here appears to be above this ridge, and then that drops down. But when you look at it this way, it looks like just different colors of the ground. Uh, I've been blamed for, well, you're just bringing out shadows. Well, first of all, show me a shadow in this picture. Which way is the sun coming from? Um, that's how you know these pictures are being manipulated. You, it's clearly, uh, well, at least from the picture, it's daylight. We know that. We can see that. Okay, so why don't you see any big rocks with boulders and you can be able to determine? You can't see any shadows. You go into the picture and it just pixelates. 
and you can see that. So that you say, well, yeah, I, you're right. I can't see any shadows. Exactly, because this is canvassed. This is being blanketed over. This is the reason why you can't see the real deal. So now what we try to do is actually bring this out. And again, you can see something back here. Back here. I couldn't tell you what this stuff is, guys, but my guess, and I'm, this is pure speculation, is that we're seeing a picture or these anomalies or these objects, whatever these are, um, probably about tw uh, maybe a quarter to half a mile away. Now, again, it's all guess because there's no way of scaling. So, you know, guys don't beat me up on this. Going, oh, he has no idea how... You're right, I don't. But based on the picture itself, like I said, you're looking. it's looking over because you can't see it right in front of the rover. It looks like it appears to be looking over a long distance. At least that's the way it looks. Um, so that's why I'm going on that. Now, I could be totally off base, so, you know, uh, don't shoot me for it. Uh, but anyway, so now let's... I, I try to enhance a little bit more, and I'm going, wait a minute, why I, what is this right here? Um, let me see if I can, right here you can see this round piece, this square box, and you can see stuff starting to come out of this picture. I'm going, okay, so now I know there's something in this picture. Again, something right here, and it looks like there's another section of it here, and there's something straight here. I said, okay, let me try it a different way now. Let me go by, just to go back to the picture, and then start using um, my, my, Right here, I'll just do a start it from scratch. This way you guys can see. Go to adjustments and go to your brightness and contrast. And you can do this a couple times. Just, you know, like I said, just do it a few times and just bring it down. And then you can just bring down your... And then you can start doing it this way. And look, right off the bat, I can see something here. And you can see different shapes of things running like this. And I go, okay. So I've got a little bit there. And you start to see some things here. Oh, I know all you got to do is just... Whoop, not that way. Add a little blur... Eh, maybe a hair bit more because this is only like one step, one small step. And you can start to see things starting to come out. Okay, well, that's why I started doing that. So now when you work at this, all of a sudden I went, whoa, okay. I'm seeing something here. And you can see whatever this is, it's it's a good size. In fact, let me um, let me do this. Let's go into RGB or color mode. And this way I can show you guys what I've got here. Um, and I'll move in a little bit because I know people have been asking me, hey, can you at least try to go in a little bit more? We're not seeing this, um, and I'm going to try to. I just don't like to bring it in too much because I don't like it. You know, it's one thing pictures could be blurry or grainy, um, and then when you really zoom in, they just look like crap. But um, let's do this because I'm going to jump in here. But you can see, like, this whole whatever this is, and you can see, like, a shape of something right here that's white. It looks like it's doing this. And, of course, I'm just going by it rough. But there's actually something round right here. Like a little dome thing or something right there. And you can see that right there. But it's hard to tell because they're messing with colors and shades. And you're trying to cut through the actual manipulation. Now, this over here... Let me see if I can't do this. Because I want to go ahead and get this um, red for you guys. We can actually bring out this enhance this a hair bit more. Um, okay. Now, let me just notch it up once. Yeah, we'll go to about two. Make it just a, the line a little thicker. Okay. Um, well, let's do it this way. Yeah, okay. Uh, we continue on with that. doesn't really matter. And you can see, like, the outline of whatever this is. And again, you can see this piece here. Looks like it does this. It keeps going. And it looks like some kind of weird round piece or whatever that is. Okay. So you jump over here and I went, whoa, what the heck is this? This, if you look at this, it looks like some kind of weird lightened area. And it appears to almost go around. Like this here. There's something coming down like this. There's another darker piece coming down like this. And you can see that. Yeah. One. And it almost looks like it's casting a shadow right there. But you can see something coming down like this. Something else coming down like this. And here's the problem. Because they're messing around with so much of this... Um, manipulation and stuff they're throwing over this stuff, you can't tell. So this is the best way to do this. If you see anything that's lightened, meaning something that looks lighter than the actual, like this crap here. When you look at this and then you go, okay, I'm starting to see something a little lighter here. Like you can see, like almost looks like this weird shape here. And then there's a complete nice dark round circle. You got something that goes up like this, comes down. It looks like there's a box type thing, comes down. And there's another one right behind it. Going like this, going back, so on and so forth. So I'm going, okay, and then there's something right here coming down off the face of it. And then there's something right here that comes down. 
But because it's like, it's lighter color here, darker here. Then you get something that's lighter down here, then darker here. Whatever, whatever. But when you see that, it throws your eyes off. You can't see the whole actual shape of the item. Um, if you look down here, there's something hidden down here. And it's behind this actual piece. So it, it, it implies, at least to me, that this is some kind of, this thing, whatever this is down here, is under, under something. Okay. So, all right. So I said, well, let's go back to the other side. And you can see right here, Almost like there's a, I don't know if this is a structure. First thing I think of is bridge, of course, because I think of what I see here. But this item does not stop there. You can see this keeps going on and on, but it's lighter here, all on the top here, and it gets darker over here. See the line? Right there, very faintly. And you see this come up like this, comes down. Looks like it has another separation of some sort right there. And this thing keeps going because you can still see it's white right here. So anytime you see white, take your dodge tool, which is right here. Make sure you're at mid-tones right there. And then just start going going uh, lighter into the picture. And what you'll do is you'll start to bring out anything that's a lighter color other than the actual blanket of trash they're throwing over this. And you'll start to bring out possibly whatever's hi hidden here. Now, I couldn't tell you what this stuff is, guys. I, I really don't. Um, and so what I do is I, I did this. Let me see if it was this one here. Okay. You can see where this is blurry, but check this out. I don't know if this item here is actually sticking up right there. doesn't matter if it's gray or not. You can still see that. Let me jump in just a hair bit. I don't know if that's sticking up or if that's actually like this, going on the ground and then doing this. Because that's what it kind of sort of looks like, but this, it's hard to tell. It. Um, I'm not sure. But now let's jump into the next one. And you can see I started to try to light, lighten these up a little bit so I can get a better idea. Let me just back out so you guys can see the overall first. And, well, let's go a little bit closer. That's, let's at least fill the screen. Um, and I'm seeing, look at this. Look at the way this thing is shaped down here in the bottom. Well, it doesn't have to be the bottom. Um, you can see, well, not there. Right here, again, you can see this weird thing coming off here. Has that box, that round circle, that other box here, or, or top of this structure, whatever this may be. And this looks like it is a distance away, guys. This is not right smack dab in front of the rover. And whatever this looks like, it looks like it's going like this and around. Pieces coming down. It looks like something structural. Now, I, I don't know. But there's clearly something more in this picture than just a flat ground. Um, it's as simple as that. So let me move back in, give you guys a better look. Because I know you guys, like I said, have been wanting to see this with the smaller, uh, with the tablets and their phones. Uh, it's tough to watch this stuff on phones, guys. I've done it. I've got a phone myself here, and I'll tell you what, it's hard to see anything. Although they have a great picture for the small amount of screen that they have, um, the, you still cannot bring this out. Unless you pause it and then expand your, just go ahead and open up your screen a little bit more and zoom in. That's fine. Um, but right here, you can see something right here. It looks like, kind of does this here and goes like this. Um, and it's also, it looks like it's almost separated. I'm trying to remember where I've seen it. This may be actual, actually this is the, uh, right here, you can see the stitch line. It actually goes straight up like this. So you can't go by that at all, but, all right. So let me try to lighten it up a little bit more, back out. And to me, look at these structures. Whatever these things are, it's clear, especially this piece here. This really pops out to me. This is definitely structural of some sort, and... When you go back to this here, look at all these in the back. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and color this again. Go into RGB and go ahead and do that. And you can see like right here, whatever these things are, it doesn't look like simple little rocks, mountains, call them what you will. It's clearly something else in here. Now, is these maybe ridges? Very doubtful, only because it looks like this goes like this. It looks like it has like an arch, another arch, and it looks like it follows this piece down. So whatever this is, is clearly... Look at this. comes up, goes like this, goes across, and there's something being hidden here. It's, it's definitely not rocks. I mean, it's, there's no doubt about it. There's something that's really large, and it's laying right in front of this rover. And, of course, this is spirit again. This is not, you know, opportunity or curiosity. And this is uh, 71. So, and be honest with you guys, when you get into solids like 
14, 50, 70. This thing's barely walked away from its landing spot. So what's that telling you? Well, it's telling me that clearly there's something in this picture that they're not letting on. Um, that they knew exactly where they're landing these things, and I know everybody can agree with that. Um, because they're not just going to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. They're not going to do that. And people go, well, uh, how do they know exactly where they're going to land it before they land it? Well, they do know because they have the MRO. They know exactly. If Listen, if they can look at the wheel marks from orbit with the MRO, which is the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, if they can literally see the tread patterns of each of the wheels on the Curiosity, then you know they can see every nook and cranny on this ground. They know exactly where they're going to land these rovers when they when they l launched them and then landed them. They knew exactly where they wanted to put them down. Um, people are going, oh, it's impossible. There's no way in heck they could have done this because it's relatively, uh, you know, uh, Mars and relatively, uh, rev rev <laughs> wow, I can't even say it. <laughs> Just being relative to the actual Earth position, Mars position, we're orbiting the sun, uh, the rotation of each planet, you know, there's no way they could do this. Uh, of course they can. They could crunch numbers. They got they get the they got these orbiters around Mars, and they know exactly where this these areas are. They know um, where they need to land these rovers, so on and so forth. Of course they can. These people are like the smartest people on the planet. Of course they know what they're doing. So you know, you know, when they put these things down, they land them right where they wanted them. They're not going to land them out in the middle of an, a desert and go, um, okay. Like, they want you to believe that they're just going to dig for rocks if there's any kind of microbial life. No, no, no. Um, I'm looking at this, and I can clearly see objects sitting in here. Now, are they structures? Are they some kind of weird transport vehicles? Are they... I'll let you guys make that decision. I don't know. And what I really did, too, is I really darkened this picture because I'm going to show you why I did this. Because after I lightened up what I thought... Because you can literally see right... Let me see if I can show you right here right here see how you can see like it's even down here it appears to have it looks like it's part of this item at the top which is lighter and you can see bits and pieces of lighted parts and it's, i'm going okay if i can see that what's that telling me either this is na uh, this is overgrown area meaning bush trees whatever on this whatever this item is and i'm going to say there's structures because of distance wise and again it was only just a guess and speculation but if it is, in fact, then why not let's try to whiten this area up, see if we can't bring out this item, and see if we can't bring out a little bit more. Um, I mean, look at this. You can see this right here. Right here. And this doesn't matter if it's gray or not, but look at this. Look at the way this thing goes down. Again. I mean, come on. Look at this. <laughs> I, I just, I see shapes like this, and I go, this is clearly, and you can see it going back. This is clearly, well, I just went and did mess that up. Let me just back up a little bit here. You can see that piece, and then you can see this going straight across, even though it's been actually, look at this. Another one coming down here, going down. It, somehow that tells me this is not natural rock. Now, I'm not saying there can't be no straight, you know, areas naturally but you guys get the idea now i'm gonna go ahead and what i did was i did this again i lightened up all the areas and you can see what looks like and is all right over here this area right here and all in the back here there's something clearly in here that's that i wanted to pop out and i wanted to bring this all over here there's something again these look like structures and they're being hidden this way in the back and again, this does not stop here. This keeps going. You can literally see this thing going like this. There's this nice line right here going all the way across. Let's see if it meets the other side. I didn't even think to look at that. But it looks like there's, other, there's something right here that's doing this. Right there. Something here. And this white area. See that? Even though it's got like what looks like arches and so on and so forth. It looks like it's, it's the same thing as this is right here. So what's that telling you? What is that? I don't know. So again, let me back out. Bring it back up just to fill the screen. And this is what I did. What I did was I really darkened this picture to bring out these brighter areas. So let's do that. Okay. Now, when you take a look at this thing, or things, you can see there's clearly something here. Many things here. And I don't think it stops right here at this line. This line was made again from here to here that's a blanket 
It's not the ground. They want you to believe, okay, that's the ground. You see him way off in the distance. There's a little mountain right there. No, right right here. There's like a little mountain right there. Um, no, that's not the case at all. And you can see this so-called little hill or whatever it is goes down like this and goes down. <laughs> it goes into this darker area like we've seen many times before. Um, let me do this again. And just to show you real quick. Right here. You can see whatever this thing is that they're trying to blotch out goes like this and goes down into this. So how do you go from the hill area into here and be one part? How does that work? That's telling me that this from here to here has all been blanketed. That means they're trying to throw something over there to, to, to block whatever's in this area from here to here. And there you go. Um, and like I said, I've made this really dark so that we can actually see the lighter areas pop out even more so. And you can actually see that. I can see objects sitting in this picture. Go down just a hair bit smaller. Right there. So we've got... I'm going to go ahead and zoom back into this after, and I'm going to show you this. Uh, right here. I mean, I think this whole area is filled with things, but I'm just going to... The things that really stuck out for me. Here. This whole area right here. I mean, basically the whole Don picture, to be honest. And like I said, this piece here... This thing runs almost all the way until it gets to about here. And of course, we don't know if they're just blocking it out. But this whole thing, you can see this running all the way like this. And it looks like actual openings in this thing as it goes along. I'm trying to remember if this one here. Yeah, this has got the, these. And look at how, look at it. It's like perfect 90 degree angles. What the heck does that? So you guys tell me. It looks like actually something's round right there doing this and something's sticking out. Almost to a point. But you guys tell me what you think this stuff is. Let me jump, jump right in. I'm going to go from left. For the people who are running their tablets and phones, check this out. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this. You guys tell me what you think this stuff is. Because they appear to be structural. Now, anything's possible. We're trying to, again, cut through this manipulation. Now, I'm going to tell you what, guys. There's a lot more here in these pictures, whether it be Opportunity of Spirit, you go back to these older ones, you're going to see some crazy stuff in here. Um, that's all there is to it. And here it is again, a little bit more lightened up. And you can see these objects running like this. There's like, like 90 degree angles. And there's something might be in the way, like from here in between this other structural piece. But you can see this look like, like I said, they look like openings and structures. Something right there, like I said, right in this whole area. Um... I'm going to move along. You guys can tell me what you think. And, but I got some wild ones coming up from these guys, from the older rovers. And my God, you see some of these things and it's just, you know they're hiding stuff in these pictures. And believe it or not, and I'm not the first person who said this, but they're going, oh my God, is it me or are they like using the older pictures for the newer saws? Yes, they are. Um, uh, KC's noticed that. And it's absolutely true. I've noticed this a long time ago as well. It's it's not only that, but they're going. What they're doing is they're actually going back to the older pictures as well, and then manipulating those again. They really don't want you to see what's in there. They're going, um, guys, our skills have gotten better. We've been able to keep things out of the pictures. Oh, wait a minute. We got to go back to the older ones because you can clearly see some things still sticking out. And here's a good example. All right. All right, guys, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, sorry for taking my time uh, bringing another video, but I wanted to show you that. And um, you know, I'll, I'll throw these up on Google Plus for you guys. You guys can check these out. And um, yeah, tell me what you think. They look structural to me. They look like they're intelligently made. These don't look like just random mountains, especially on the left-hand side of this picture. There's no way. That's just random mountain. And like I said, this under here, if you can see that, it looks like there's something hiding right behind something. So that tells me, that implies that this is actually tucked up underneath here. This is some kind of overhang of some sort. So, you know, as always, give me your comments. Let me know. Let me know. Just, you know. Let me bring it back just a hair bit. Lighten it way back up. All right, guys. Let me jump out of this. Let me see here. Whoop, phone's going crazy. Let me shut that off. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. 
just check out the next ones because I'm going to be jumping back and forth to these older styles as well, as well as the new ones. Um, and really, really crazy stuff. And just by looking at these pictures, guys, just look at the pictures. Don't even do a thing to them. Look for shapes. Some of these people who I, I think this word was invented by people who just can't see this stuff. The paradolia or whatever the heck they dolia dolia or whatever the heck they want to call it. I think it's for the people who just a a don't want to see, b can't see. And I'm not trying to make fun of the people that can't see. I'm actually trying to explain to them how you can see this in the pictures. It's not you. They go well. You can see like you know these uh, silly animals in the clouds. Well, how do I know what this stuff is that's in these pictures? If I don't, how can I say they are something if I don't know what they are to begin with? So in other words, what I'm saying is. I'm looking at these pictures, then I'm enhancing them, then I'm seeing them come out more and more. In other words, I haven't even started with the pictures, and I can see this stuff in the pictures. So I said, well, maybe it is just my mind playing tricks. Let's dig into it and find out. Sure than heck, what I just showed you, those are clearly not just random rocks or just, you know, uh, cliffs on hills, hills. Because if you looked at the, the, the regular picture, you can see that that's not... It almost looks, other than a couple ripples on the ground... At least that's what they want you to believe. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's a 2D surface. It's nothing there. It's a flat surface. So just look at it and go, ooh, ah, uh, okay, next. And that's it. No, that's not true. And people need to stop being wise to that and open up their minds to this stuff. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, I got some cool ones coming up. I mean, I've tried to gather this some up. I have been busy for the last four or five days because Saturday we had those races. So it's been, um, I've been doing that, doing some family stuff there. So... But I'm going to jump back into these and rock these for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, share the video. Give me a thumbs up. Throw a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Is it nothing more than just simple rocks? I don't believe so. In my, my opinion, they're definitely not rocks or hillside. It's definitely some kind of structural something or other. But that's my take. That doesn't mean it has to be yours. Let me know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I will see you next video.